We're going to just ask each other some questions about our childhood. Childhood and general. Who was your first crush? Uh, kindergarten through first grade. He was technically my first boyfriend. His name is... Should I expose his name? We're not famous. Um, his name is Adam. He said he loved me on the swing, so... I guess it was kind of serious. <laughs> Who was your first crush? I had two crushes at once. One's name was Ryan, and the other was Jacob. Ryan rejected me, saying he <laughs> already had a girlfriend, but turns out he's gay. Now. Also, this other guy named Jacob. Also very athletic, Jewish, you know. <laughs> what do you mean, you know? <laughs> like, you what does know. that entail? And I think during first grade, I had the courage to print out a coloring page for him and wrote him a little letter <laughs> and... So you colored it no, first? No, no. gave it to him so he can color So it. he can color. But anyway, I gave it to him and he... I don't... I just know I got rejected somehow, but I can't remember how. I'm sorry. What was your most embarrassing moment before middle school when you were still a kid? Well, preschool, for sure. In preschool, I got bullied. I don't know why. Her name was Mackenzie. I hate you, Mackenzie. I peed my pants, okay? Like, it's no big deal. I'm a preschooler. The f Oh, shit. <laughs> I peed my pants, and I was really embarrassed and panicking because I don't like to ask for help. So I was in the bathroom, like, trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> and Mackenzie and her squad comes up to me, come up to me, and they're cornering me in this bathroom. <laughs> they're like, what, did you pee your pants? Did you pee your pants? Literally cornering me. <laughs> they're all white. And from this Asian girl just be like, no, I spilled the water on me. And I'm freaking out. They were just always harassing you. Yeah. I don't know why. I was a cool kid. Anyway, what was your most embarrassing moment before middle school? The time in kindergarten when I <laughs> I pooped my pants, but I didn't tell anyone until school was over. Ew! So, <laughs> it was just, like, festering, probably. Like, I remember being in the computer lab, and this kid next to me is like, do you guys smell that? It smells like... <laughs> is there... Why is there a baby in here? Oh. And I was like, yeah, right? I don't know. It smells pretty bad. Oh, God. And You um, just sat in it all day long. What are you doing? Yeah. What is the craziest thing one of your teachers has done? Oh, I know. I had a psychology class, and my psychology teacher, she had, like, issues. And one time we were all in the class, and she was super late. And she was so late that our principal had to come into the class to supervise us while we waited for her. So we waited and she finally came and she came, she comes through the door limping, appears to be in so much pain. She's like, <sighs> like that. All of us are like dead silent. Like, is she okay? And the principal's like, are you going to be okay to teach today? And she's like, yeah. Like, very soft voice. Like, she sounded ill. The principal left, and she was teaching the class the first few minutes like that. She was limping around the class, like, okay, guys, so... And we were just all looking at each other. And then... A, a, and some time passed, and suddenly she's fine, and she's, like, walking like normal. I am completely convinced that she just faked the whole thing so that the she wouldn't get in trouble from the principal. Yeah. She pretended to be injured i've never seen anyone do that. <laughs> i've never seen a teacher ever do that before my teacher she was really weird she was my algebra 2 teacher she was really old <laughs> but like she was really good at push-ups <laughs> she would make a bet with like her students outdo them in push-ups like during class what yeah so she was well, like what would she be betting she would be like if i do more push-ups than you can then you have to stop talking in the for the rest of the class and she would like be doing them really really well but she was right. old she like retired like a couple of years later so <laughs> she was like anyway that's crazy i can't even do like five push-ups properly i don't think it 
I don't think you can even do one properly. Like, being real about it. Like, sure, you could, like, do five, but, like... Can you? No, that's, I'm not saying I can. I'm, like, getting really disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> what is the dumbest way you've been injured? <clears throat> I'm trying to think of... Oh, I remember. <laughs> this was in first grade, and I was, like, a monkey bar queen so good i love like climbing things there's like a balance beam and then these like spinning kinds of monkey bars i was just like stunting on everyone i decided to like try to i would be able to do it i've done it before this time i don't know for some reason i i just didn't jump high enough or something or didn't grip hard enough but i jumped off the balance beam and tried to grab it and i slipped fell on my arm really really hard and I was in so much pain and my friend Takeru <laughs> Takeru he jumped and he also fell and I was still on the floor and he fell on top on the ground on the wood chips I was on the wood chips he decided to jump and he <laughs> also fell on top of me and you just like I was like oh, oh. that was like like, try not to cry. <laughs> Wait, I just thought of another embarrassing moment as a kid. I think this was more embarrassing. I was in Korean church. <laughs> there was like a little cafe kind of thing. And I was trying to buy Tic Tacs. But I was really young. And I didn't know how to count money yet. I don't know. I feel like I was old enough that I should know how to count money, but I didn't. I was like counting these coins. Or like trying to act like I was counting the coins to like give this man the money. I didn't know what I was doing. And they started like yelling at me. They're like, get out of here. Like, I was, what is going on? I'm just, help me, help me. No one was helping me and I just got kicked out and my eyes were like tearing up and I was like, what's the most useless talent you have? Um, I can sound like a lawnmower. <laughs> All right, gotta warm up. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Wait, I got it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I could do this thing where I like, <laughs> where I like stuck this in. Basically like a monkey. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Would you like to be invisible for a day? Why? I mean, I'd like to be invisible for longer than that. I think I'm already invisible. Technically, we're all nothing, so. Which three words describe you best? <clears throat> three words to describe you. Mm -hmm. um, fierce. Honest. <laughs> sensitive. Alright. I'm gonna say... Ugly, stupid, <laughs> and a bitch. I'm gonna say you are slow. Oh, okay. Not punctual. Instead of slow. Why are you only looking at the bad things about me? I'm not. Yeah, you are. Give me a second. I was doing a good one next. Showstopper. <laughs> slow, showstopper, and perfectionist. I don't know what fierce is, but this was a stupid fucking video, and I want to end it now. Bored as she. Why'd you say that? <laughs> oh. How are you eating it so fast? Hmm? How are you eating it so fast? <laughs> it tastes good.